I've got with me Norway's Steiner Hearn. Well, back in 1994, the last time the European Athletics Championships were held in Helsinki, you won the high jump gold medal. What are your reflections of that event? And of course, what was it like in Helsinki 18 years ago? Oh, it's two things. First of all, it was a fantastic uh, experience to, to win the European Championships for the first time, and the same time breaking the European Championships record. That actually stood for 12 years, so I'm quite proud of that, 2.35. Uh, and uh, the second thing is that uh, I did well, but so did my teammates. It was fantastic results for the Norwegian athletes. Gein Moon won the 200 meter, Trina Hattestad won the javelin, and then we had the silver medal from Vebjörn Rodal in the 800, and Gein Moon in the uh, 100, and a bronze medal in the discus. So we got seven medals, and that's not normal for a small country like Norway. But I guess there was a lot of celebrating in Helsinki and of course the Norwegian athletics fans, they love their athletics as well. So I guess it was a good time back in the 1984. Yeah, it was for sure. And uh, I think also the, this year it's going to come a lot, a lot of Norwegians. Uh, it's a short way and uh, the uh, history we have uh, from uh, Norwegian athletics in, in Helsinki from the time we were competing, it's still in their memory. So the rumors are there will be many Norwegians now uh, going to Helsinki also this year. Well, of course. What's it like being able to compete in an Olympic stadium? We're, of course, in Olympic year as well. What does the history and the atmosphere bring to an event? Oh, it's special. I mean, uh, when I grew up, the first World Championships in 1983 in Helsinki, uh, it was the first one I watched. I was not old, but my parents were really, really interested. So, uh, and then to uh, be able to compete there myself in 94 and then win, uh, the memories I have from that full stadium, the beautiful weather, and then again, I watched the World Championships in 2005. Not that uh, lucky with the weather, but still, it was uh, they did their best, and the people were showing up in the stadium. So the Finnish has uh, special interest for uh, for track and field athletics. They always had, and uh, even though I'm a high jumper, not a javelin thrower, I still felt almost like competing at home ground. And uh, both myself and uh, Gain Moon at that time uh, became quite famous in Helsinki. And, I hope some of the girls that watched us that time uh, still remember us, even though we are very old now. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's turn the clock a little bit forward to this summer's high jump event in Helsinki. Who do you anticipate being the medal contenders? Oh, that's it's really open now. Uh, the Russians are, are really, really strong. And uh, with uh, Stefan Holm uh, retiring, I think it will be a match uh, of, uh, of the Russians, actually. It can easily be one, two, three. So to pick a favorite, I don't know. Uh, it's open, but uh, it will be fun to see if they jump higher than I did, because uh, 2.35 in Helsinki in the Olympic Stadium, that's quite good. Well, 2.35 would probably be good enough for a medal this year. Thanks so much for joining us, Steiner. Thank you.